I know, look, this is Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back. Yep, familiar background. Similar hair though from last week. I am back in New York. I just, I literally just got back. I am recording this video the day that you are actually watching it, this Friday the 26th of July. Um, talk about hitting the ground running. Anyway, I thought I would do a video all about um, how, well, the, the title obviously tells you, duh, but how to make summer clothes look kind of expensive and how to make them look kind of chic, if you know what I mean. Because I think during the summertime, you know, because it's, it's literally, it's as hot as balls outside, I'm no lie. And this is the time of the year when you literally are just wearing a tank top and shorts or a t-shirt and shorts. I mean, I'm talking about during the weekend, but it is, you know what I mean? It's just, it's so hot that you have to really think about what to wear but especially i think it's challenging if you want to still kind of look like i said chic a little bit kind of you know just kind of like a little bit a little bit pulled pull together enough talking let me just get stuck right in with my thoughts <laughs> okay so first off this part of the video is in collaboration with topshop i have been working with them for a year now and this is my first youtube sort of mention with them and i picked out some pieces and i only picked out literally um, I'm wearing two of them. One, two, three. Is it three? Or is it four? Four! God, I just missed the other one. Anyway, they're on the bed, as usual. Okay, so this is a bodysuit, and it is a one... Let me show you. It is a one-shoulder one, and I, I love the whole one-shoulder. It's got, like, little lines going all the way through it a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Well, you can't see crap, can you? This is, like, about as classic as it gets, like a one-shoulder top, and a size four, I believe and it holds your boobs in quite nicely. It's just, you know, I mean, it's about, I don't even have to explain it. This is so simple. And when you get it in black, I mean, I don't need to tell you about black. Black is one of the most, what's the word? Instantly chic colors to wear. It just is, it always has been, in my opinion. Anyway, to wear it during the summertime, something like this reads as one of the most easiest ways to sort of elevate what you're wearing. The fact that you're taking it as a one shoulder makes it much more, I think, appropriate for something you could wear in the evening times easily because it kind of looks like that anyway. So that is the bodysuit. To me, this bodysuit is about as classic as it is going to get. And the fact that it's one shoulder, this is like a throwback to the 70s. It's just going to work really, really well with any kind of like longer midi skirts. I'll talk about that a bit later in the video. But classic one shoulder black clean silhouette god a blazer over it hold on hold on hold on a blazer oh god wait hold on so i've got this thrifted men's suit right here i'm going to show you don't worry about the skirt the skirt doesn't go with this but look just look at this bit look what i'm telling look what i'm showing you oh my you see what i'm saying now this is oversized you lot know i love oversized clothing so this is i meant to get it this way men's men's blazer oh god i know it's a symmetric line of your neckline just showing just a little bit and then you put on something like this with it this is this is the kind of stuff this is chic i don't give a crap what you lot think this is that chic this is what i call summer chic anyway that's just a good example for you look at see but I am not I am not gonna lead you lot wrong when I'm talking about what to me defines wearing something that is chic. I got this denim skirt. Now normally den normally denim skirts are tend to be like here, right? It's like an A-line skirt. Um, but I like the idea because this is the topic of this video is about things that look a little bit more chic, a little bit more expensive, a little bit more elevated. And so I got this beige denim skirt, quite simple, nothing much going on. Got a little sort of brass um, gold hardware on the, the buttons, which I really like. But look at the length of it. S look at that. It's got a slit in the middle, but it's so long and covered that it has such a gorgeous... Doesn't this have a lovely silhouette, though? I love something like... This is what I'm talking about. Oh, it's just so easy to wear. And I love these two together. I could easily shoot... 
this is the two color rule coming into effect again where it's just one color below it's like a bone color so it's not white which makes it so much more like approachable and easy to wear just two simple colors that's it that is your combination in terms of one outfit and that alone makes it kind of like a really chic combination to wear I'm, god let's do a drinking game how many times karen says chic in this video this to me together it's just a great sort of grown-up take on the summertime and I love these two pieces together anyway so had to show you that I have to shoot this I have to shoot this oh and shoes wise I would just wear a pair of lace-up gladiator sandals and the type I'm thinking of are these I've had these for a while these are from Madewell you don't know about these ones um, but I would wear something like these sandals with it why because it's keeping the same two color rule so you've got black and you've got the black here right and they just lace these up and the reason why I'm going with flats is because I like the idea of it just being daytime appropriate but you still feel kind of um, sophisticated at the same time I want to find as many descriptive words as I can apart from chic like you're going somewhere where maybe it's a casual summer meeting but it's still a meeting this is what I'd wear I'd be like walking in wearing this on my, you know, you know what I'm saying. I know you understand what I'm saying. Anyway, why am I giving you like, like that? But anyway, I loved these two together, both from Topshop. I'll list all the Topshop pieces below. And just like I showed you, wear this later on as it starts to transition slowly into, dare I say the F word? And I don't mean, you know what, I mean fall. But you know what I mean? I know it's blazing outside and I shouldn't even be saying that right now, but you know, we're sort of semi, sort of, sort of thinking about it in a little sort of roundabout way. So this with a blazer, I know, where's my phone? I am definitely going to be doing that. That's for, that's a fact. But anyway, I tell you, I just Rolodex in front of you and come up with ideas of what I'm going to, what I'm going to be wearing. But anyway, this is just great. And yeah, I had to share it with you. <laughs> So another good piece I picked out from Topshop is a leopard print skirt. Now I do have leopard print skirts, you know the one from Reformation which I love to wear. Um, the only thing about it that I don't like is the length of it. I'm five foot seven, I tend to have a shorter torso and longer legs and arms and I find that because of that I always wear things a size up so that it will make it longer on my limbs and that skirt is shorter than I've always wanted it to be. So this one from Topshop is it's the length that I actually like in skirts and I'll show you. Um, now you could wear it on your waist because actually before I hit record I had it up here like that which is fine but I kind of like the idea of just making it sit a little bit lower than below my waistline which is here and so it just shows more of the bodysuit walking down it means a lot to me the movement of clothes means something to me and see when I'm walking it just has a beautiful movement to it and I could just wear a pair of black heels with it hang on hang on hang on hang on oh gosh hold on hold on so two options of what I would team it with these these are you know about these from Topshop I've had these for a little bit so these because they're strappy but I mean obviously you can get this at different price points at different stores it doesn't have to be necessarily from there but these are a good one because I just like the, the overall I've had this for a while these ones like I said but I just like the shape of the strapping on it I think it's really kind of pretty and the heel is just enough without being too much or I thrifted these which are also fantastic these are satin mules slide on kitten look at that Either or, you know that together. Oh, hold on. Let me just show. <laughs> Let me just put it on quickly so you can see. Bring the camera down a little bit. Oh, I haven't even unpacked yet. I flew in literally hours ago, so bear with me. It's like I've instantly created an outfit for you for going out somewhere, or like if you're on holiday, you're going away somewhere, and you want something that's a bit sort of you know, like I said, a bit sort of more chic. This to me, this is it done and it's the it's the length of the skirt that is what is good about this look at that God, as i'm walking it just looks so nice having that slit just opens up from it just being a ton of material like this now i just love that that's so nice together god yeah this is oh i love it. anyway all right let me just move on but imagine in the sunlight i know that i'm shooting this video indoors but if i was out and you just got the sun that's hitting the skirt because it's got this sheen on it Trust me, I know, when I take photos wearing satin, the material just looks amazing in the sunlight. Anyway, 
So I love the idea of wearing this skirt as well. So win-win with these two pieces. All right, so what was I gonna show you next? Oh, and I showed you the denim skirt as well, which I love. Same reason, I like the idea of wearing something that's not necessarily A-line, but it's a longer line, bone colored. And the last item is, oh gosh, hold on, is this, is this dress. I'm going to put it on for you, but this dress is, I'm, I, I love the way this dress fits. Back of your neck here, and then this is open, that part. I know, I know, I know. Anyway, I'm gonna put it on for you now so you can see how it looks, but this is great. All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, so this is the dress I was telling you about. This is beautiful, this is so, so nice. Anyway, it's deep. You know how I like my dresses as far as, I mean, it's like a checklist of how I like my dresses. Cap sleeves, deep front, longer line. Tick, tick, and tick. Oh, and the small ditzy floral prints, another tick. So this is it, so you can see it a little bit closer. Like I said, it's a little bit of a ruffle sleeve on here. This is just great, but look at this. It's a surprise at the back. That's the best part. It's the back of it. Look at that. I love that it's got that little keyhole there at the back. I think that's so pretty. It's unexpected, especially on this dress because it goes all the way down. It's a long line, but you don't expect, you know, if you like, if I walked past you and you looked, turned around to look at me, then you've got the surprise at the back. And I think that's such a nice detail to have on dresses. To me, summer dresses are the same principle. Look for something that is a timeless design. I mean, I've talked about this before, but it's so true. I think that feels uh, chic, that feels elevated, that feels, you know, insert the word that means similar to what I'm trying to say in this video. And I find that if you want your waist to look a little bit smaller, get something that has a little bit of volume on the shoulders, what I call your corners right there. These are where you want a little bit more width because it tends to make this part look smaller in comparison. So this having a little bit of a puff sleeve is doing that. Material as well, it's very easy to move around in. So yeah, very simple, I loved this. That's the kind of things I look for in a summer dress that I want to stand the test of time. Okay, so another one is just the accessories. Now in particular, let's focus on bags. Um, I generally find that the bags that you choose really help to have a kind of, oh God, find me another word than chic. I need to get the Theosaurus up on the screen. They'll help your outfit stand the test of time in looking chic. So for me, straw bags is one of them. This is a good size tote, a medium size tote. This I could easily grab. Um, it's just one of those things that, it, again, I've, I've shown you before in other videos, but you know, you don't always have to have new silhouettes. It's just showing how you style existing and classic silhouettes and one of them is this bag it's not necessarily something that is expensive but it's about an overall chic classic look to your outfit and that to me this bag does that which is why i always have it close to hand which is why during the summertime it's currently is just out because it's something i just want to reach for from time to time um, another thing is another straw bag which is this one now this okay this is from top shop so this part is not sponsored but um, I got this bag also in collaboration with them for a project from pre from a few weeks ago and I just liked the kind of, you know the sort of by far vibes, you know what I'm talking about, I'll put it on the screen for you, but to me it had those kind of looks, it just had that kind of look to it. It's a kind of look that a lot of um, contemporary brands are doing a lot of and I think that by far I'm one of those which is currently probably the market leader at the moment in the fashion community and this has all those kind of vibes but it's a fraction of the price obviously. But, you know, it just has that look, and that's what I mean. It's just little things like that, which can help to make your outfit just feel a little bit more ladylike. Oh, there you go, I found a new adjective. It just helps to make it look a little bit more than what it was before. So, I didn't plan on that rhyming, but it did, so there you go. I know I've mentioned it before, but it's worth repeating. Beaded bags, they are, they work. Honestly, I'm telling you, beaded, why does this look out of focus? These things work, they are like little jewels. I'm not kidding you, hold on, stay there. Obviously you lot know about this one, but I'm not gonna show you the other one, the Shrimps Valenciale bag or whatever it is. I'll put it on the screen because you've seen it forever. But I'm gonna show this one because I like the contrast of this dark beaded one with the lightness of this dress, right? So the power of the contrast, I've mentioned that before, but that's another thing that I think helps to make your outfit work better. It's contrasting lights with darks. I wouldn't probably wear this with this when I'm going out because I feel like one is slightly washing out the other. I could do it, but for me, I'm more likely to go with something like this only because I just like the fact that it just, it really goes pow, 
right? The bag against this dress. Another thing these bags have in common, they all have a structure. They're not sort of loose, easy bags like my J. Crew, the straw bag that I've been wearing a lot. I'll put it on the screen so you can see. I was killing that bag all during the summer, all during my time in St. Lucia with Michael. But when I come back and I want something that's a bit more sort of, like I said, a little more elevated, go for something a little bit smaller something a bit more um, ornate. Just the fact that it's more structured, that alone helps to keep it looking a little bit more elevated. Because think about when you go to weddings, most women, probably all women, yeah, most of women, I'll say most women, will go for a structured bag, usually a clutch, a box clutch, something like that, fluid dress, and then you contrast it with a uh, structured bag. So it's that same, same sort of thing. Anyway, I know you lot know what I'm talking about. All right, all right, so moving on to the next thing. What also helps, I think, is the jewellery. Um, I personally am a believer in gold. I love how it looks on my particular skin tone, so I love to wear it so much. When you wear thinner pieces, you can generally wear more of them because they are small, they're dainty. So for me, for example, you know I love wearing gold jewellery a lot. It's just one of my things that I love to wear. Um, I'm wearing a black dress just to emphasise that I think that black and gold to me are two classic perennial color combinations and to me gold and with black is one of those combinations that i think looks absolutely just it just looks so nice together um this is currently what i have on my hand for this video but i have a lot of different gold uh, pieces that i like to chop and change between for example these two gold pieces this you know already i get from that street vendor on uh, spring street in new york great guy shout out to him some of you have already gone to pick up his pieces uh, i got this last year it doesn't turn it doesn't tarnish it stays exactly the way it is it is beautiful he's outside of baltazar he's a bald guy anyway anyway tell him that karen richick sent you he's amazing um and this is from ellen m this one the star one and also this part this one as well where the wedding day for Ma michael and i is, is engraved on it this is a gift from my mum, and this one is from 27s club i believe it's called i'll put their instagram on the screen this was made uh, this is a new jewelry line um, my friend Tess came out with it. I told Tess to come out with her own line of jewellery because she makes them so well and she did. Um, for my ears I could have gone with wearing something here like um, I had hoops on originally but because I've got this and then I've got the arms going I thought I would just focus on that. That's another thing when it comes to sort of trying to feel like you're dressing in a way that looks sort of timeless and elegant. I don't like the idea of wearing pieces on every single hole. I like the either or effect. I've mentioned it before. It applies to jewelry and to me it applies to makeup as well. With jewelry, either you go with statement earrings like a hoop, something big, whatever it is here. Keep the rest really simple because it's all about the ears. And then in this case, I went the opposite. So I kept the ears plain and simple just focused on the jewelry here and another thing i took into consideration is my hair because i got my hair in braids and i've got like a bit of air and i've got a bit of um, hair jewelry going on right here and then on the other side as well and then down here as well you know i thought it's just there's a lot to me there's a lot going on so i thought it'd be nice just to keep i'm looking in the monitor to see how everything looks because it's a bigger screen down here but it just means more it just makes more sense to keep everything to keep my ears relatively bare i mean i always have this this is a piercing that i've always had in my ear anyway another thing that i find um is to avoid too much hardware on your pieces when i say pieces like your shoes lots of big metal bucket buckles on them um same with your bags um i don't reach for my gucci dionysus that much even though i still love this bag but i think one of the reasons i know is if i'm really putting my hand on my heart is the hardware i think that for me just on my taste i just like things which has a little less to it so for me this is a little bit too much going on so even though i still love this bag a lot so i that's why i gravitate to bags especially during the summer because that's what i'm referring to only in this video is without anything like this you've seen how often i've worn this shell bag it's because it's just all shell and there's no hardware if this had a pole that had a massive like gold round solid disc hanging off of it i would have just clipped that thing off immediately if i hadn't said this was top shop it could easily to me have been mistaken 
to have been bought somewhere that maybe was from Intermix or was from the Frankie shop or was sitting at Reformation because it just has that kind of look to it because it's devoid of any hardware and it's just the shape of the bag itself which is working and that to me is what looks beautiful. Another one is my stowed, hold on, ditto for this bag, same thing. The fact that it doesn't have much hardware on it, it's very, very simple. It's just a little bit on the handles on the where they meet the bag and that is it. But that to me is what keeps it looking really chic and elevated at the same time. And anyway, I know this came down, it crap, it didn't fall below here and that's all that matters. And I think that to me is something that stands the test of time. It's not gonna date, it doesn't have a lot of things on it. You know what I'm trying to say here. And it doesn't clash with your outfits as well. I could wear this with anything. I could wear those other bags with anything because their hardware is not going to compete with my jewellery. It's not going to pe compete with your jewellery. Anyway, you understand what I'm trying to say. Another one is makeup. Same principle when I said the either or with jewellery. Um, during the summertime, we tend to wear less makeup. Less is definitely more. When it is blazing hot, you don't want everything sliding to here within half an hour. So for me, I'll either focus on my lips or I focus on my eyes. That's just been my rule. For example, like today, um, my focus is on my eyes. So it's a little bit on my cheek, but it's mostly on the eye. So I went in with going with a little bit of definition and with a sort of a bronze, sort of golden um, contour sort of blush here. And this is wearing, what am I wearing? This is, uh, this is Riri, this is Bayesian Gal wearing here. That's what you're seeing right here and on this side. And then for highlighter, I've got NARS right here and I apply it right there. But I think the whole point of this video is I wanted to come up with um, really chic ideas that you can just apply right now while you're watching this video. And to me, makeup is an easy one. So for me, like I said, keeping the focus on the eye, this mouth is nothing. But for another day, I won't put any liner on and I'll just do a nice strong lip. I love makeup a lot by the way so if you want to see me talk about more about summer makeup let me know in the comments below just leave um, a comment saying yeah do a video chatting about makeup a little bit more because I to me makeup is as important and it goes with your outfit to me it does like I'm wearing this black dress black liner it works together in my opinion anyway so that's my thoughts either or on makeup. So another one is just wearing looser materials. This is a dress by Ula Johnson. So it is not a cheap dress, but the fact, but why I chose it is because, and it's about a year or two old now, is the material of it. It is super flowy. And I think that that is something to definitely keep in mind. I don't care where you're shopping, but keep looking for items that are flowy. Look for ones that are doing this. That's why I put this on, just to show you. Things that just are really, really loose. When you walk, they just have a lot of movement to them. Balloons and moves around a lot because it's just got a, such a beautiful sleeve. Even though it's a covered up arm, it's semi-transparent. It's got that movement. It's got that great shape to it because of the material. Again, because it's nice and loose. So look out for things like that. You are just gonna be so set. I'm I promise you, it's such an effortless way to dress in the summertime when you focus on the material of things. Like I said, I don't care where you shop, it's really about looking at that material and you can find that in almost every single shop you go to. And if you don't, just do a U-turn and leave. I got this from a flea market. Now that's talking about the complete polar ends in terms of pricing. Um, but I've had this dress for donkey's years. I've had this for about six years, maybe longer. And it is a beautiful dress. This is the front of it. This is the back of it. It's got some ruching here, so it's actually tight across my bust. Empire line. But look at this parachute-like material to it. And again, it's just really loose and simple. Same idea with the sleeving. So it's really, really easy to wear. And these to me are things that look expensive. They read as expensive. That have a lot of movement, a lot of fluidity to it. They tend to just look 10 times more expensive than something that isn't. So just keep that in mind. And the same applies to shirts as well. Look at shirts, particularly during the summertime, that have a looseness to them. It's a women's Uniqlo. Yeah. I love that whole, I love when men and women wear each other's. Right? You know what I mean? No, I adore that so much. It makes it so much more interesting and it hangs differently. No, it does, because with men's shirt fabrics, it's so much more stiff and not That's flowy. True. That's true. So I mostly gravitate towards women's button-up shirts. So it is 
you know, perfect for summer, it's flowy, it can be oversized, I can roll it up, I can tuck it in, have a nice French tuck, do whatever really. Go for linens. They just sit and hang better, they drape better. If you're the type of person that's stuck in a rut where you're just wearing shorts and a t-shirt, shorts with a fantastic fluid shirt instead, so we'll maybe half tuck it into the front with your jeans, you can just cuff the sleeves of the shirt, And when you're walking, it just looks so good. And if you've got it in like a gorgeous like linen white, and then you've got like the blue of the jeans, which looks so classic and it's clean. Ah, oh, understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to just recommend some really easy pieces for you. Materials that work. All right, so I think that is it. No, 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 hang on, there's one more. Hold on, there's one more. Oh God, I nearly slid across the floor. So another one is wearing all one color. Now I put the bodysuit, uh, the one shoulder bodysuit back on by Topshop because I wanted to show you just a very chic way to just wear it. Um, it's just like this with a pair of pants. Now these trousers are from Sonia Ricchial. Now I love the cut of these trousers. They actually have a flare to them at the bottom. But I just wanted to give you an example of how you know, if you're going out somewhere during the summertime and you want to wear something that's a little bit chicer, you know, investing in certain classic cuts like this. This is a classic cut, this bodysuit. This one shoulder thing, it's it's a classic thing, just like an off the shoulder is, just like a halter neck is. These are classic necklines. Um, and then to team it with something like a black pant, you've instantly got the chic look like you're wearing um, a jumpsuit. Manish nod silhouette, but it's still very feminine. It work, it walks the line both ways. Yeah, just one color. I've done it before. You've seen on my Instagram. Sometimes I'll just wear one color, whether it's um, an all long white dress or a black. Sometimes I'll do that, but I do it with purpose. When I say that, I don't just do it by accident. I'm deliberately choosing to wear one color. So I wanted to show you, or at least end with an example of one way you can just wear something that's just very, very simple but you've just sort of taken it up a couple of notches all because you just paired two things together that maybe you wouldn't have thought of. So that is it. That is the end of my video. I am loving the hair though, man. I swear, I just want to keep, I mean, I've got to take it out soon, but I don't know, should I do it again? Leave me a comment below if you think I should like do another braid style like during the summer, during the summer while I'm in New York. Cause I, I really like it and I'm thinking about doing another one, but I just, I don't know, tell me, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway, but tell me regardless, I want to know below what you think. Um, Michael is still in St. Lucia, we are finishing off our second Airbnb, I'll link our Airbnb below if you want to have a look and check it out, but um, we are doing a second one, like I said before, and we are finishing it off now, and I did as much as I could, I had to fly back because I've got work to do, but he's still there, he'll be back hopefully next week, we'll see, but anyway um that is it that is my lot um i hope you got some ideas here the either or with the jewelry the either or with the makeup um i tried out a little bit of a foundation by pat mcgrath so that's why i'm testing and wearing on my skin at the moment i could do an extended video maybe a chatty maybe a chatty video just showing you like different makeups that i like to wear during the summertime and let me know your thoughts all right so that is it that is my lot wearing one color floaty fluid material um picking materials that have like a sheen to them like a beautiful natural sheen whether it's silk or it's satin because in the summertime when the light hits those things it looks absolutely amazing amazing on so consider something like that um go for less is more with jewelry that is it i think that is my lot um i don't really think there's anything else i wanted to say i just wanted to keep this video very short very sweet like i said i just arrived back in new york so let me finish, stop waffling so I can edit and get this bloody video up today. Link everything that I wore, including Topshop below. Anything that's not available, I will always find you dibs for as well. Um, da -da -da -da. What else? Nothing else. All right, have a good weekend. Stay cool. I know that there's a heat wave going on across America and in England as well. My God, I've been watching the news. I will see you, my loves. I will see you all next week. Um, follow me on Instagram if you need anything else to see what I'm doing between this Friday and the next one. Um, I think that's everything. All right, I'll talk to you next week. Next Friday. <laughs> Bye. Also, the fact that I am at over 100,000 subscribers has not been lost on me. And I wanted to come in here and just say a special thank you to all of you lot who, who did it. You lot did it. It wasn't me. I mean, 
you did it basically and i thank you just just thank thank you very very much um and what was i going to say i just i'm going to keep doing it so sorry this is one-handed so that's why it's a little bit oh god i look so sweaty it's not even funny you know you lot have told me how much um my videos have helped you like with like how to's and inspiring you on shopping pre-loved and stuff like that and i love that because that means that i've got a I've got people out there who are the same as me, basically, and that, that's that's fantastic. But anyway, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I think my next goal is 100,000 on Instagram. My God, I don't even know if I'll ever get there, but hopefully, you never know, one day. Um, but yeah, you know, God is good, and put it out there. And whatever you want to do, just, just do it. Just start, 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 start. It doesn't matter where. Just do it, enjoy it, as long as you enjoy it. That's the main thing. It will keep me motivated. This is nothing to do with the video but it was something I just wanted to pop right in I've even taken it off the tripod and I'm doing this handheld hence sort of everything's like going like that but um thank you and I'll see you lot next Friday bye I mean I'm teaming it with this denim skirt which I'm going to show you in a moment where's my phone it always starts going off when I hit record so one of them is this top now this is a body shop body shop <laughs> the fact that you've got like the peak of that asymmetric hem light Hemline, oh God. The phone again. I just got back and the phone is ringing. Who is that? Who is that? I have no idea who that is. So they can just get lost. Sorry. Oh, they did. Phone stopped. They must have heard me. <laughs>